Right now, the CDC is hoping its new guidance for doctors will help cut down on grim statistics and the number of overdoses we are seeing daily. In the past few years, it has been tough for patients with chronic pain to receive opioids, but now it will be easier for people who actually need those drugs. Reporter Caitlin Keenahan explains the changes for these opioid prescriptions. In the 1990s, opioids hit the market. Drugs like oxycontin, codeine, and hydrocodone. Back in the early 1990s, there was a very loose approach to prescribing opioids. Dr. Stephanie Vanterpool is the director of pain services at UT Medical Center. She watched the prescription pendulum swing. There was some mismarketing of opioids. So did the director of the Metro Drug Coalition, Karen Pershing. During that time, everybody was prescribing them for everything. Teenagers were getting them for getting their wisdom teeth out. Then came the discovery. So you saw increase in prescribing, increase in sales of, of prescription narcotics. Then you started seeing the increase in overdose deaths. This CDC graph shows the rise in overdose deaths. Then we progressed towards the 2016 CDC opioid guidelines where the pendulum actually swung, um, honestly, a bit too far in the other direction. CDC restrictions limited doctors' abilities to prescribe opioids, even to long-term users and people who still deal with chronic pain. Patients were either suffering, going through withdrawal, or um, felt as though they had to find other ways to treat their pain. Opioids are now considered a temporary band-aid to pain, not the solution. I think it's we've definitely seen a lot of improvement in prescribing overall. And I think, again, there's been a lot of efforts um, to educate health care providers on the management of chronic pain. In Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. Experts say the 2022 CDC prescribing guidelines help physicians determine appropriate candidates for opioids, the right dosage and whether to treat options with drugs or safer alternatives as well.